have been a board member on ARC Fan since its inception. And since we're 10 years old, I would say I have been 10 years on the ARC Fund and as chairman. When we talk skills and expertise, uh, I find myself a little flat-footed because I'm not a financial person. But since the fund is about people and helping people to invest and plan their future and actually be a part of the development of the country, I bring a bit of uh, experience. Uh, having served in both uh, the private and the public sectors, for over 40 years. And also being a people's person, my main uh, profession has been in public relations, or let's say communications and management. One of the things that motivates me as a board member of the ARC Fund is the fact that we do need to invest beyond savings we need to invest we need to put our monies away for a much longer period than we are used to and i'm passionate about helping people to do just that what i love about the ark fund is first the name the ark i take it back to the bible where god gathered people and all other creation, animals and so on, put them away for a time and then release them to go and start all over again. And I can imagine how many births took place whilst they were in the ark. So you can, you can think of the kind of investment God put into putting creation away until he was ready to let them go out and, and do that. Also, the ARC Fund is um, what I would call a special kind of fund, ethical as well as conservative. I know some people feel very strongly about not having their monies invested in things like cigarettes and alcohol and guns and tramadol and so on. And so it, it, that motivates me. That's, that's one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about the ARC Fund. Corporate governance is key in protecting the investments of fund holders because corporate governance is all about running the organization well, not only according to the rules of engagement, but also according to the rules from our regulators, rules from um, an establishment like the Registrar General's, rules about ensuring that we don't break our own promises. And that is very important. Rules also about the way the people who serve on the board ensure that the people who work in the organization give of their best and are true and committed to what they are doing. What I'd like to tell shareholders is that investing in ARC Fund is critical, not only for our personal well-being, but also for the development of the country. Because it's investment such as what we have in ARC Fund and in other long-term funds that become available to support the growth of the economy. What is more, we waste money a lot. In Ghana, we like to save, say we don't have anything, but we do have. We always have something small to put aside. I wouldn't say for the rainy day, because we do have a rainy season, but put the money aside in a long-term way. Think about the money becoming useful to us in five years, in three years, sometimes in 10 years. That's what I'd like to say. And I'd like to encourage 
even those who are not shareholders yet, to learn to put their money aside for a long time. For us shareholders, don't let's panic when we hear that something is rumbling in the financial markets because ARC fund is a very secure fund. All the board members, you know, are level-headed. They believe in excellence. They believe in integrity. They believe in hard work. And they are protecting your funds. <laughs>